Hello, I'm Dr. Elliot Antman, President of the American Heart Association, American Stroke Association. We're here in Nashville at the 40th International Stroke Conference. I'm delighted to be joined by our President-elect, Dr. Mark Krieger. Mark, this is a wonderful meeting and it's dealing with a very important problem. There are 795,000 individuals who have a stroke every year in the United States and we've got 6.8 million stroke survivors in the United States. We're going to have over 4,000 experts here discussing the latest science about the prevention treatment of patients with stroke. But we as cardiologists have an important responsibility to do everything we can to reduce the risk of stroke. So what are the things that you think about when you see patients in the office so that they're not going to end up having a stroke? I couldn't agree more, Elliot. Cardiologists certainly have the responsibility to take care of more than just the patient's heart because the diseases that affect the heart are also very relevant to stroke. For example, high blood pressure. High blood pressure is a very common problem that we frequently encounter in the office. It is up to us to make sure we identify patients with high blood pressure, give them appropriate counseling regarding diet, such as low salt intake, and putting them on medications to make sure that their blood pressure is adequately treated to target. Secondly, we see patients who have atherosclerosis. They have coronary disease. They've had heart attacks. They have peripheral artery disease. And these patients are also at very high risk of stroke. So it's incumbent upon us to make sure that we are aggressively treating those risk factors that contribute to atherosclerosis, particularly lowering their cholesterol with statins, and also making sure that they're on an antiplatelet medication. And of course, atrial fibrillation is a disease that we frequently encounter. And atrial fibrillation is a cause of stroke in approximately 15% of patients. So we not only need to identify those patients who have atrial fibrillation and are at risk for stroke, but initiate those appropriate therapies, those anticoagulant drugs that will effectively reduce the risk of stroke. Absolutely, a great shopping list for our colleagues in cardiology. We've come such a long way since that very first International Stroke Conference in 1976. There were just 300 attendees at the time. We've now got over 4,000 attendees expected at this meeting from over 60 countries, and there'll be over 1,500 abstracts. Lots of information will be coming out from AHA Science News, so stay tuned. This is Elliot Antman and Mark Krieger here in Nashville at the International Stroke Conference.